Hello everybody, my name is Richard Vigorelli and I am your guide for everything feng shui and I said all 12 Westerners can, you know, figure it out. Now, why am I not facing the camera and you're looking at the back of my bald head and the back of this chair? Well, if you can't read, we're talking about facing today and facing in feng shui and why it is just so important. Help me, Obi-Wan. Anyway. Uh, facing in feng shui is very vital, actually, for having things work the right way. Uh, certain items, pictures, need to face a certain direction or be in a specific spot and face along a certain plane. My little kitten here. Uh, so that what their intended use is for will actually, you know, work. Okay? Uh, for instance, door guardians need to face the door. Uh, that is provided the door guardian is inside the building. If it is a guardian that is outside the building, then it needs to face out into the world. Okay? Not in to the building. Otherwise, the door guardians are going to guard the outside world from you. Make sense? Okie dokie. Uh, other things that need to face certain ways are uh, wealth uh, talismans like the... It's not that. Like the money toad. Um, like Fortuna. Uh, they usually want to face inward and in what is called the wealth sink, wherever that may be. Now, if you are in a business and you're using something like the beckoning cat, then you want that to face the door and out into the world. You don't want it to face in because then it's calling the money, because this is come here in Japan, China, and Korea, um, rather than buy, like it is here, okay? Um, then you're going to pull the money towards it and out into the world. Okay, It's also one of the reasons why I don't like using uh, the wealth talismans of the Eastern Origins. They're just... I just don't like them. Okay? Uh, another thing we have, uh, which I talked about in uh, my video on the toilet in the bathroom, is you do not want your toilet to face the front door. Even if you're over here, let's pretend my hands are the toilet, my head's the front door. Okay, this is bad, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine, this is not fine. Okay, now, this is also, back over, this is also not fine because if we scooch it back over, it's facing the front door. That's bad. Okay, so if it's over here, we're cool, don't worry about it, okay? That's very important because poop, okay? Uh, another facing that is extremely important is like what I did, okay? To you, my camera is the door, okay? Now, the actual door to my office is right there, yeah. And uh, you don't want to face away from the door like this desk is. Unfortunately, I have no recourse for that, and I tried to set it down another way and nobody would listen to me, so here we are. Okay? Because uh, it, it's also the exact same reason why you don't sleep with your back to the front door. Because of a thing called the marauder imperative. Okay? Hmm. Excuse me. This is because... If you are not paying attention, as in engrossed in your work, and somebody comes in, you're vulnerable because your back is to them. Okay? You can't see them. And they can see you and do whatever they... And if they're quiet enough, fast enough, they can do whatever they want. Okay? So in feng shui, uh, it's not a good idea, especially if you are trying to grow in your life, to not face the point of ingress, okay? Uh, 
the reason why you want to is that way you can greet everyone coming to you and say hello, how you been, nice to meet you, namaste, etc. Okay? Uh, another bit about facing is where you put your bed. Okay? You don't want to put a bed where it is facing where the foot is facing the point of ingress, okay? You want the point of ingress to be to the side, okay? So, all right, this hands the door, this hands the bed. This is good. This is not good. This is bad, okay? This is the foot, okay? You want it like this. You want it parallel so that when you walk in, you see the full bed Okay, heads over here, foot's right here, for example. Okay. Second of all, you want your head to be on a stable wall, like the one behind me. Okay. Now, not all uh, rooms are built satisfactorily for this, and I find that very, very annoying. Especially when I move into a new place and go like, where am I supposed to put my bed? You people don't know anything! Okay. So what I do is I usually fix it there in and go from there, okay? Uh, another thing that you don't want overlooking the bed is a mirror. That's more of a silly superstition, I think. I've tried it both ways. I haven't found any negative impacts. Of course, we're also assuming feng shui works, but anyhow, okay? Oh, uh, what else can I think? think of, because I had all of this down, and I, I don't have that paper. So, yeah. Um, actually, I believe that's about it. Uh, if I think of anything more, I'll do an update to this, and we will go from there. Oh, yes. There are a couple of very, very odd things. Okay. There are a few little statuettes. Each one is individual. They're very, very specific. I would not have time to go through them all, but some of them actually face outward, even in the room, so you're looking at its back. It's super weird, but they're usually like guardians that are specific for a certain point. Um, like certain types of Chi Lin, you'll have to do this. Others, eh, they usually face inward or quasi-inward or something like that. Uh, Okay, so, uh, if you are new to the channel, hit that big red subscribe button down below and leave a like, leave a comment, feel free to share, and if you would like to get in touch with me directly, feel free to visit my website at vigintmed.com. That stands for Vigorelli Integrated Medicine.com. Go ahead and shoot me a line if you've got a question, and I will be happy to answer it. So, we'll see you soon, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.